Senator Pan Filolaxon is considering running for president, but only if Senate President Vicente Soto III will be his running mate. On Tuesday, June 8, Laxon says the Laxon Soto tandem in the 2022 elections is already cast in stone, and they only have to finalize whether they will actually file their candidacies in October. Cast in stone yon, in case na magdecide, walang iba kundi si Senate President. Usapan na namin yon. For Laxon, there are only two choices for him in 2022 the presidency or retirement from politics. He is eligible to seek re election as senator next year, but he feels he has already exhausted what he can contribute as a legislator. In case na hindi ako tumuloy, kinakampanya ko naman siya para magkaroon siya ng katandem. Laxon and his close ally Soto have so far been in sync regarding their prospects for the 2022 presidential polls. The Senate president already says he will run for vice president only if Laxon seeks the presidency. If Laxon decides to gun for the presidency in 2022, it would be his second attempt to become the country's chief executive. The Philippine Food and Drug Administration approves the use of Pfizer and BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine in adolescents aged 12 to 15. This amends the previous emergency use authorization that allows the use of the vaccine only for ages 16 and above. But in a statement, Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Verheri says the country's vaccination strategy to prioritize the vulnerable population remains due to the limited supply of the vaccine. Pfizer applied for the change to the EUA on May 20 following the US FDA's approval of Pfizer's request to allow the vaccine for 12 to 15 year olds. Meantime, President Rodrigo Duterte has yet to receive a second dose of the Sinopharm COVID-19 vaccine five weeks after he was administered the first shot. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque on Tuesday, June 8, says the president is still waiting for Sinopharm's EUA. But the FDA already issued an EUA covering donated Sinopharm vaccine doses on Monday, June 7. Duterte's second shot is part of this batch. In early May, Duterte was administered the first dose of the Sinopharm vaccine even if it was not covered by any Philippine EUA. Critics say the president is cutting corners while his administration tells regular Filipinos they couldn't choose their vaccine. Media giant ABS-CBN suffers a 13.5 billion peso net loss in 2020 after the House of Representatives rejected the network's bid for a new franchise. In a stock exchange filing Tuesday, June 8, ABS-CBN reports a 50% dip in revenues to 21.4 billion pesos in 2020 from 42.8 billion in 2019. This is mainly due to a sharp decrease in advertising revenues which fell 69.2% to 7.06 billion pesos. ABS-CBN lost free-to-air advertising space following the cease and desist order issued by the National Telecommunications Commission on May 5, 2020, which halted its television and radio operations. ABS-CBN also spent 1.1 billion pesos for separation benefits as it was forced to lay off workers. Despite the non-renewal of its broadcasting franchise, ABS-CBN aired some of its entertainment shows through a block time deal with Zoe Broadcasting. This led to 1 billion pesos in revenues during the fourth quarter of 2020. ABS-CBN continues to stay in the red in the first quarter of 2021, posting losses amounting to 1.9 billion pesos, 158.7% higher than the 751 million pesos in losses in the first quarter of 2020. Shows airing on Zoe Broadcasting generated 673 million pesos in revenues during the first quarter of 2021. Its distribution of entertainment and news content across the world allowed the network to take in 56 million pesos in revenues. Sky Cable also helped the network by bringing in 2.5 billion pesos in revenues. ABS-CBN and its creditors reached a standstill agreement for its loans amounting to over 18 billion pesos. The network put up 14.56 billion pesos worth of collateral, effectively protecting the company from a loan default. The effective date of the standstill agreement is May 31. After waiting for years, Lord fans have new music to look forward to. Lord shares a teaser on her website on Tuesday, June 8, posting what appears to be art for new material with the title Solar Power and an image of Lord walking across a beach. 
It isn't clear from the teaser what exactly Solar Power will be, though some media are referring to it as a single. Whatever it is, Solar Power will be the first release from Lord since her 2017 masterwork melodrama. After taking the album on tour in 2018, Lord stayed mostly under the radar. Her only project since the tour was a photo book documenting her travels to Antarctica in 2019. In December 2019, while grieving over the death of her dog Pearl, she began returning to the studio again just for something to do. She later hinted at releasing new music in exchange for eligible New Zealand fans to register to vote. K-pop boy group EXO releases the music video for their single, Don't Fight the Feeling, along with their highly anticipated album of the same name on Monday, June 7. The five-track album is EXO's first since Obsession was released in November 2019. Don't Fight the Feeling also marks the return of members Shu Min and Dio, who both completed mandatory military service, and Lei, who last participated in EXO's 2018 album, Don't Mess Up My Tempo. It will also be Chan Yol and Bak Kyung's last project for a while since the two enlisted in the military. EXO first teased fans of an album during their 9th anniversary on April 8. EXO debuted in April 2012. They are known for their hits Growl, Wolf, Monster, Coco Bop, and Love Shot.